What is up, guys, and welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. Be the market, one trade at a time. If you're new to Market Marauders, investment channel helps you to find the best deals in the market. All right, so let's jump into it. So, as the title said, this is going to be uh, the sector uh, or the stocks that are going to benefit the most from the stimulus if it is approved. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, the first one I got on here uh, is ticker sign AAL, and that is for American Airlines. Uh, so at the time of this video, uh, their moving average 10 is $12.67, moving average 50 is $12.41, and the moving average 100 is $12.65. Uh, they ended the day at $12.68. Um, so this is the first one that I have on here. Um, as you know, the airline sector was hit, you know, tremendously uh, from, you know, the pandemic. Um, but they seem to be trying to rally back uh, in hopes that the stimulus uh, could be passed. Um, so looking at this, uh, we can see that they are bullish, but barely uh, denoted by the moving average 10 line being above the moving average 50 and the moving average 100, which are this yellow and purple line. So the red line is the moving average 10, uh, which is above the moving average 50 and the moving average 100, which are both of these lines. So going to the next one. Uh, we got ticker sign LUV, and that is for Southwest. Uh, okay, so Southwest uh, is on a pretty bullish uptrend uh, at the current moment. Um, so their moving average 10 is $40.20. Moving average 50 is $39.51. And the moving average 100 is $39.35. Uh, so they ended the day today at $40.24. So pretty good metric uh, they are bullish uh, noted by this moving average 10 line being above uh, the moving average 50 and 100 uh, and VWAP looks to be pretty healthy as well uh, looking at it go up above the moving average 10 line so Southwest uh, you know most of the times when I fly that's the one that I use uh, so that's the one I'm most familiar with uh, but they seem to be doing pretty green uh, if we see on here uh, pretty positive uh, move in hopes on passing uh, that stimulus. Uh, so, you know, everybody's waiting on the stimulus, and the stimulus is not just, you know, to save the airline industries. Um, you know, it helps people with uh, the PPP program, uh, small businesses. Um, you know, the $1,200 that people got uh, definitely helped them as well. Uh, it's changed quite a bit. Uh, the numbers have fluctuated, you know, so many times. I can't really keep up uh, with what's going on, to be honest. But, you know, hopes that uh, it'll get passed um, because last time it got passed, it definitely boosted the market. The market, you know, was tremendously high uh, after it got passed and a lot of people got helped. A lot of companies, you know, were able to take advantage of the of the loans uh, to help their business out. Uh, some companies actually took advantage of it and didn't really need it. But, you know, uh, it still overall helped the, the market as a whole. And I think gave investors confidence um, in the market. Uh, SPY definitely went up. Uh, and it definitely helped the recovery, um, you know, increase from where it was. March was very rough. Um, so, you know, if you look at the market, a lot of people sold off, uh, you know, when they started closing down places and no one really had uh, a plan or a clue of how people were going to get through uh, this pandemic. But, you know, the market has recovered. So it seems like investors um, overall have found faith in the market and that will get back to life as normal. So going to the next one uh, on my list, we got ticker sign JBLU, uh, and that is for JetBlue. Uh, their moving average 10 is $12.44. Their moving average 50 is $12.33. And their moving average 100 is $12.41. Uh, they ended the day today at $12.45. Uh, and they are bullish, denoted by this moving average 10 line, being above the moving average 50 and 100 but barely. So depending on when you watch this video, uh, it may change, it may fluctuate, um, you know, so go check it uh, out, you know, depending on when you watch this video. Also, if you like to sign up for Webull, uh, which is what I'm doing this video from, uh, and sign up and get two free shares when you deposit $100 or more, I have a link down below in the description uh, where you can sign up. Now it is um, an affiliate link, so it does help me, uh, helps the channel out. Um, but if you want to sign up on your own, you can do that as well. Um, you do not need to have an account with Webull in order to look at their charts. Uh, so just type in webull.com and then click the trade button at top. Um, and then you can be able to look at their charts. Uh, their charts are very nice and seamless. Uh, gives you a lot of good information. 
Uh, so all this information on here will be available to you even if you don't have an account on there. Uh, so I like to use them for chart reading because they're a lot better than Robinhood and especially with all of the things going on with Robinhood um, at the current moment. I've kind of backed off just a little bit. Not saying that I don't use them, but I just backed off just a little bit uh, while they handle uh, their situations. So the next one uh, is going to be ticker sign UAL and that is for United Airlines. Uh, if we see on here, they are bullish as well. Uh, looks like they had quite a big uh, run up uh, starting around the 16th um, and just continued to run up. So their moving average 10 is $35.90. Moving average 50 is $34.94. And the moving average 100 is $35.66. They ended the day today at $35.90. Uh, so yeah, definitely going to be keeping my eyes out on them um, as well. And... Uh, you know, the reason for why I believe that these uh, stocks uh, are going to be continuing to do good um, is this article right here. So this is from uh, the Treasury website, basically, uh, government website. Uh, this article came out the 29th, uh, but it says today the U.S. Treasury and Treasury, uh, the U.S. Department of Treasury announced that it has closed a uh, loan to uh, seven large passenger uh, Air Carrier Division A title, uh, subtitle A of the relief fund. So basically, uh, the CARES Act, they're basically saying that they announced uh, that it has closed the loans. Uh, the seven carriers were Alaska Airlines, American Airlines, Frontier Airlines, JetBlue Airways, uh, Hawaiian Airlines, uh, Sky Airlines, United Airlines. Um, so if you look at this, these are all airlines. I know you may be saying, why do you have Southwest? Southwest wasn't even on there. Um, you know, JetBlue is like one of the only ones that's on this list. Uh, the whole point of this is that, you know, these are companies that were helped out by um, the pandemic and definitely were able to use some of the relief fund uh, from the CARES Act. Now, if there's a new CARES Act, I do believe that they will be adding additional money to the airline industry and that that list will grow. So you got to bear in mind at the time when, you know, all these companies start to go down, uh, start to go bad, the companies that had the lowest amount of, you know, I guess capital uh, with them or, you know, were lower on the totem pole, uh, you know, took this money. So, you know, Alaska Airlines, Frontier Airlines, JetBlue, Hawaiian Air, Sky Air, um, you know, United Airlines is a pretty big name and American Airlines is a pretty big name. Really, the only one on here that's not really represented is Southwest. But, you know, I feel like you can still uh, expand this to the whole airline market. So I don't believe that the government's going to allow uh, the airlines to fail. Uh, too many people use them. It's too much of it's not like a commodity. It's kind of a necessity for business to uh, continue going throughout the world. So, you know, whenever there are new guidelines uh, that come out um, and whenever they can finally pass, uh, you know, this new CARES Act and come up to a conclusion, I think that, you know, one of the priorities is going to be the airline uh, company. So that's why I say these will definitely uh, directly benefit. And it seems like they start to rally uh, getting closer to that. Now I have a bonus one on here and it's sticker sign CCL uh, for Carnival uh, Cruise Line. So uh, their moving average 10 um, is $14.23. Moving average 50 is $14.04. And the moving average 100 is $14.59. Uh, they ended the day today at $14.23. And they are bearish, denoted by this moving average 10 line, being below this moving average 100 line, and in between this moving average 50 line. Uh, so, you know, I would say they're still on a bearish trend. They're trying to come back up, uh, but they will still have to go and test this 1459 uh, region right here in order for them to truly uh, become bullish and now the car, uh, cruise line industry was hit just as hard as the airline industry but I don't think the cruise line industry you know got as much sympathy from the government as you know the airline industry did but you know all these ships out here you know they're still uh, floating around uh, so I think you know once there's any positive news about reopening them or guidelines about reopening them i definitely expect to see that this uh, these stocks uh, will shoot up so this is one of them that i'm looking at uh, ccl i think it'll definitely uh, trend the same sort of uh, increase uh, that the airlines do um, so i would say you know watch that one as well 
Uh, so good luck to everybody training out there. Hope everybody's able to lock in profits. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Uh, it definitely helps the YouTube algorithm promote the video. And make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, for more videos. Uh, I try to post them uh, quite frequently. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.